It says he wears many diadems or many crowns. That's a picture of Jesus' ultimate sovereignty. This picture of Jesus wearing many crowns, what it's saying is there is no limit to his sovereign rule, his power, his control. There is no force that can come against Jesus and stand. In righteousness, he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems. And he has a name written that no one knows but himself. In Scripture, when we, when we learn the names of God throughout the Bible, as God is revealing himself throughout this story of the Bible, we're not just learning sounds to make to talk about God. We're learning things about his essential character, the Lord God Almighty. The Lord God, the Master God, the one in charge who has all power. The Most High God. In a world filled with false and demonic gods, there is only one who is Most High. Yahweh, my shepherd, that our God is the one true King. Yahweh that heals, not just bodies and minds, but souls. Yahweh who's there ever-present God, ever-present God. Yahweh, our righteousness, he's the justifier. Yahweh who sanctifies you, the one who makes you holy. He's an everlasting God. He's a provider. He's our peace. And he's the Lord of hosts or the Lord of armies. He has a name written that no one knows but himself. Jesus, Yeshua, Yahweh is salvation. Jesus is the full revelation of who God is to us. But even in that, in the perfect revelation of who God is, there is still mystery, this depth, this infinite aspect of who God is that even in Christ we can't fully comprehend. Jesus, God, our God is above and beyond our ability to fully take in. 